Hey you up everyone, welcome to the Rugby League History Channel. I hope you're all well and you're looking after yourself. Tonight's video is going to be round 6 Power Materials review video. So I'm going to be talking about the game which happened tonight or this morning, wherever you may be in the world watching it. It was this morning over here in England. So it was Parramatta against Eastern Suburbs, aka the Sydney Roosters. Um, Parramatta were undefeated, five games in a row that we'd won, best start of a year since 1986. And Eastern Suburbs had come back into form, they were kind of casting aside everyone that they were playing. And this match was played at Western Sydney Stadium, Bank West Stadium. So going into the match, um, in that first half, we had a, co a couple of opportunities against East, but they led 8-0 at the break, they got a try. And then they got a couple of penalty goals, which I didn't really think they were penalties. But it's one of those cases where one week it might be a penalty, the next week it mightn't be a penalty. Towards the end of that first half, we nearly got a try through Blake Ferguson, but he was taken in the touch. And then just before half time, Daniel, tu Daniel Tupo knocked the ball on. But then it was ruled that Blake F uh, Ferguson had... Pulled him down as they were going for the ball, so it was ruled no try. So it was 8 0 at the break, which was a bit of a rehash from last week with Penrith. Going into that second half, we started throwing the ball around a bit. We, we got the ball to the edges, which I think is a real strength for us this year. When we throw those balls left to right or down the side of where Jennings and Civil were playing, we do really well. And Jennings got his try. In the second half against his former club and it was also his 150th career try which is a big big achievement and then i think the highlight of the game happened in the next couple of minutes where we threw the ball down the left hand side of the field and the ball went to micah civil and then he just run fucking full pelt just as hard as he could and unfortunately to desco he put his body on the line he come off second best and uh, Civil pretty much, you can see, knocked him out for the rest of the match. Civil scores. And everyone, I think, really loved that. Because everyone loves the big hits and rugby league and the big contacts. And they, they certainly got that there. Like. And then Moses kicks the goal and we're ahead. And then you could kind of feel that the wheels were kind of starting to turn in Parramatta's favour. And then in the next set, we dropped the ball. And then from, from then on out, it was just all... Eastern Suburbs and uh, um, I think it's a learning, a learning curve for the club and for the players we ended up losing 24 points to 10 um, Daniel Tupo got the, the match win and try you can see the dagger right through the yard of us former power matter junior I think as I said the players will learn a lot from this match because a 10 8 and with Tedesco off for potentially the rest of the game, that was a real moment to seize the opportunity and go on the win. But as a lot of other people have said, and as I've said in the past, you have to play for 80 minutes. The game's not 60 minutes, 65 minutes, it's 80 minutes. And Eastern Sumbe has played for the full 80 minutes, as they have done for a couple of years now, being back to back premiers. And um, it's as I said, a big learning curve. Um, Parramatta have been talked up all year as contenders, but I've always been one of the, the silent, or you could see one of the minority that thinks that we're not really contenders. We're a finals team, but we're definitely not premiership contenders. And I think that was proven tonight. We've still got a long way to work to get to the level of, say, an Eastern Suburbs or a Canberra or a Melbourne. But... I still believe that we're going to make the finals this year. Hopefully it's not going to be like the last two times that we've made it where we've kind of just been there and we've made the second week and then we get bundled out. Hopefully we can go a bit further. But in order to be considered contenders, and as far as I'm concerned, you have to, you have to beat Eastern Suburbs, you have to beat Melbourne, you have to beat Canberra, and you have to do it convincingly. And at the moment... Um, Tonight we matched them in certain areas, but in other areas we got outclassed. And it's a long way forward before I think Parramatta is going to be a premiership contender. One, one thing that I was relieved about was 
over the last 10 years, we've kind of been the Eastern Suburbs whipping boys, you could see. So it was finally good to watch a game between Parramatta and East where the match wasn't decided by 40, 50 points. We actually were competitive tonight, which was, which is what I was hoping that we'd be. I did tip I did tip East and Suburbs in the in the pre pre game tips that I did earlier in the week, but uh, I mean, it, there's no disgrace in the performance tonight, but it's a leading curve and we've got to be better, especially next week when we play against Canberra, same place, same time, in a week's time against Canberra, it's going to be a very tough match. We've got to be a hundred percent switched on. I'm sure Brad Arthur. We'll be looking at the video and looking at some things and we'll be reminding the players about how they kind of had a really good chance to win the night and they blew it. And um, I'm sure that they'll be working on it in the training ground. And they're, they're a good squad and I'm sure they'll gain a lot of experience in the match. So that's me round six Paramount Reels review against the Eastern Suburbs video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click that like button. If you're enjoying the channel and enjoying what I'm making, click that subscribe button. I got some more forgotten teams to go through in the next couple of days. And if you got some spare time, go over to my Rugby League History page on Facebook and Instagram. Go check those out. But as always, everyone, I'll catch you all later. Tatty bye.